What are the strongest military vehicles of the Mexican army? What tough machines lie in their arsenal? And can they survive against some of the most advanced militaries in the world? Well, in this video, we'll find out together as we explore the top 10 most powerful military vehicles of the Mexican army. In this list, we'll include only land vehicles, leaving warships and aircrafts for future contents. What country should be next? Let us know in the comment. And don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to see much more military rankings. And now, let's get started. Number 10. VBLMILAN The Véhicule Blande Léger, a light armored vehicle developed by Francis Ponhard, serves as an anti-tank platform equipped with MILAN missiles, which have an effective range of up to 2,000 meters. This model is one of several variants of the VBL, a versatile and compact military vehicle in service with the Mexican Army, among other nations. Approximately 40 VBL units were acquired by Mexico, primarily for reconnaissance and anti-armor missions. Powered by a Peugeot XD 3T turbocharged diesel engine that produces 105 horsepower, the VBLMILAN can reach speeds of 95 km per hour on paved roads. Weighing between 3.5 and, and 4 metric tons, the vehicle's compact size and four-wheel drive configuration make it highly maneuverable across various terrains. Number 9. DN11 The DN11 is a Mexican-made tactical armored vehicle developed specifically for the Mexican Army, assembled on the Ford Super Duty 4x4 chassis. The vehicle provides essential mobility and protection for military operations, offering increased security in challenging environments. Its armor can withstand small arms fire and fragments, meeting Mexican Army specifications for light armored vehicles. Initially produced in 2012, the DNXI features a V8 engine with substantial horsepower to support off-road and urban terrain maneuvering, as well as a standard configuration to mount various secondary weapons, including machine guns, enhancing its adaptability in combat and patrol roles. With plans to produce 100 units annually over 10 years, the DNXI signifies Mexico's growing focus on self-sufficiency in military vehicle production and the development of vehicles tailored to local defense needs. Number 8. Humvee The high-mobility, multi-purpose, wheeled vehicle produced by AM General is a versatile, rugged vehicle designed for various military roles. First introduced in the 1980s, it quickly became a reliable workhorse for the United States military and has seen service in multiple countries. The Humvee features a robust diesel engine, typically an 8-cylinder, 6.2-liter or 6.5-liter turbo diesel which generates about 150 horsepower and can reach speeds of up to 105 kilometers per hour on flat terrain. Its operational range reaches approximately 560 kilometers, and its four-wheel drive and independent suspension system enable it to handle rough and mountainous landscapes. With a weight of over two metric tons, the Humvee is equipped with a high ground clearance, enabling it to ford water and scale steep inclines. For defensive and offensive capabilities, it can mount various weapons, including a 12.7mm machine gun, a 40mm grenade launcher, or Tau anti-tank missile launchers. Number 7. AMX-VCI The véhicule de combat d'infanterie is a French-made armored personnel carrier originally developed in the late 1950s based on the AMX-13 light tank chassis. Created by Atelier de Construction d'Issy les Moulineaux, the AMX Fasiori was designed to transport infantry into combat zones with enhanced protection and firepower. It became widely used by several countries, with approximately 3,400 units produced and remains in limited service, including in nations like Mexico. The AMX VCI is powered by a SOFAM 8-cylinder gasoline engine delivering around 250 horsepower enabling it to reach speeds of up to 60 kilometers per hour on roads, with an operational range of about 350 kilometers. Weighing around 15 metric tons, the vehicle can carry a crew of three and up to 10 soldiers, 
The AMX VCI features a 20mm automatic cannon mounted on its turret in an optional 7.5 or 12.7mm machine gun for secondary armament. Number 6, HWK-13. The Sedina Henschel HWK-13 is a Mexican light-armored reconnaissance vehicle initially designed by the German company Henschel and produced in collaboration with Mexico Sedina. It is based on a compact, agile chassis suited for reconnaissance and light engagement. The HWK-13 typically features a two-man turret equipped with a 20mm cannon as its main armament which provides firepower suitable for light armored targets and infantry support. Weighing approximately nine metric tons, this vehicle is built with moderate armor protection that offers defense against small arms and shrapnel. Its diesel engine provides around 190 horsepower, enabling a maximum speed of roughly 65 kilometers per hour on roads. The HWK-13 is appreciated for its versatility and mobility, making it a valuable asset in roles requiring quick deployment and maneuverability across various terrains. Number 5. M8 Greyhound The Greyhound is a lightweight, six-wheeled armored reconnaissance vehicle developed during World War II by the United States. Produced primarily by Ford, it became a staple for reconnaissance due to its mobility, speed, and firepower. The Greyhound is powered by a Hercules JX D6 cylinder gasoline engine delivering 110 horsepower, enabling it to reach speeds of up to 90 kilometers per hour on roads. Its operational range is around 560 kilometers. Weighing approximately eight metric tons, the M8 features a light armor structure suited for scouting missions rather than heavy combat. Its main armament is a 37 millimeter cannon, complemented by a heavy 12.7 millimeter machine gun for additional defense against infantry. Despite its open-top turret exposing the crew, this configuration allowed for better visibility, crucial for its reconnaissance role. Number 4. DN Mortar Carrier The DN Series Mortar Carrier, specifically the DNV Porta Mortero, is an armored vehicle developed by Mexico's Dirección General de Industria, Militar for Artillery Support. Primarily designed to transport and deploy mortars, it often operates with an 81mm mortar and can also tow a larger 120mm TDA mortar, providing versatility on the battlefield. Built on a 4x4 platform, the vehicle's design facilitates rapid deployment of mortar rounds from within or around the vehicle, ensuring mobility and quick repositioning in active combat scenarios. Weighing approximately 7,500 kilograms, the DNV Porta Mortero achieves a top speed of 80 kilometers per hour and has a range of up to 750 kilometers, enabling long-range operational capabilities. Number three, Sedina 8x8 vehicle. The Sedina 8x8, developed by the Mexican Secretariat of National Defense, is an advanced armored vehicle intended to bolster the Mexican Army's ground capabilities. This 8x8 wheeled vehicle, inspired by international designs and optimized for Mexican terrain, emphasizes high mobility, armor protection, and versatility in various military roles. It is configured for rapid troop transport, reconnaissance, and other support roles. The vehicle incorporates robust armor to protect against small arms fire and explosive devices providing enhanced safety for personnel during operations. It also features a modern engine suited for diverse environments, facilitating off-road maneuverability and enabling it to reach significant speeds on various terrains. Number two, DN-V Buffalo. The DNV Buffalo is a Mexican armored vehicle developed in 1984 by the Mexican Secretariat of National Defense with assistance from Diesel Nacional. It serves as a mobile artillery support platform for the Mexican Army. Built on the chassis of Mexico's DN series of armored vehicles, the Buffalo combines mobility and firepower by incorporating the turret of the USM-8 howitzer motor carriage. This turret is equipped with a 75 mm howitzer, providing it with effective fire support capability for infantry operations. Additionally, it carries a secondary armament of a 12.7mm machine gun, 
enhancing its defensive capabilities against lighter threats. The DNV Bufalo's design prioritizes maneuverability and protection. Its hull offers moderate armor, safeguarding the crew while allowing the vehicle to traverse varied terrains in support roles. Number 1. Panhard ERC-90 The Engin de Reconnaissance at Canon de 90 is a 6x6 wheeled armored reconnaissance vehicle developed by Panhard General Defense for the French Army. It features a combat weight of approximately 8.89 tons and is powered by a 170 horsepower diesel engine, allowing it to reach speeds of up to 95 kilometers per hour. The vehicle has a range of about 800 kilometers, making it suitable for extensive patrol missions. In terms of armament, the ERC-90 is equipped with a 90mm smoothbore gun, capable of firing armor-piercing, fin-stabilized discarding Sabbat ammunition, and a coaxial 7.62mm machine gun for secondary defense. The turret houses a two-man crew consisting of the gunner and commander, who are positioned to maximize operational efficiency. And there you have it, folks. These were the 10 strongest military vehicles of the Mexican Army. Do you agree with the list? Let us know in the comment below. And don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to see much more rankings like this.